welcome into Rock Painting 101. We are gonna do another quick uh, New Year's themed rock for beginners, of course. Uh, this is a really easy one for you all to replicate, but it looks like it's a lot harder than it is. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a fun, just quick brush stroke style backdrop on our rock with our gold paint. We've got metallic gold paint here. I just love black and gold for New Year's, so that's what I use most of the time. So I'm just load up my brush and just do quick brush strokes. Oh, and I bonked you. My apologies for that. Quick brush strokes on our rock just to create this fun backdrop. Don't overthink it. Go in one direction, and then I'm gonna come back in the other direction so that we have these kind of stroke edges to our design. And we're gonna layer this up over a few layers so there'll be some dry time in between but just kind of brush stroke it on there don't overthink it but we kind of want these wispy edges so if you're starting it more kind of close there to the center and just kind of lift away as you get to the edges as, as you can see this is going to take more than one coat so we'll do one here i'm going to let this dry and then i'm going to do a second and possibly a third coat just the same, but I will pan forward so you don't have to watch all of that. Once your base coat is dry, we're gonna go ahead and add on our phrase, Happy New Year, or you could have it say like, bring on the new year, whatever you want. It could say 2021, 20, uh, whatever theme you want to go with. Um, even if you primarily use uh, acrylic paints and the rest of this design we will, um, having a 1M Posca pen is nice for doing lettering and writing and things along those lines. It's just a lot easier for me to control it. If you're great with a brush, with lettering, more power to you. I just am not there and I honestly don't even try. So I think I'm actually gonna have this one do the bring on the new year. So I'm just gonna lay that out on here. I'm just gonna freehand it. I'm gonna write new year at the bottom first because I want that to be big and the rest of it will be slightly smaller. Now with this design, we're gonna create some dotting and things as well just to have some fun. So leave some space between your words if you can. I'm just gonna write on here. I'm gonna use all capital letters. I'm gonna doodle every once in a while off the tip of my paint pen just because I didn't let this sit a very long time. So if you get any of that paint in there, it can mess with the flow of your paint. So let's see here, can do green. The will be really small here. Bring on the year. Let's go ahead and add an exclamation point on that. All right, now we're going to start the plan stuff. So we are going to stack our dots on this design. So I'm going to lay down black dots first just because we're on a gold background. Um, if you're working on a white rock, you wouldn't have to do this gold in the background and you could do gold dots first, um, however you want to do it. Now there will be some dry time in this uh, pattern for you. So we're just going to take, we're going to load up our dotting tool. Oh, I've got some little edge from my Got a little edge from the paint cap in here. Get that out real quick. And then we'll put it here. Sometimes those little dry bits can fall down in there. All right, so we're gonna load up our dotting tool. If you don't have dotting tools, you can use lots of things around the house. Erasers, you know, um, nails. We're gonna kind of walk our dots so they're different sizes. So we're just gonna place some black dots around on our rock. And as you place dots, they'll get smaller and smaller on their own. So I'm gonna do a few with each dollop of paint that I get. So I've got 
uh, lots of different sizes of dots going on. And I'm just placing these around without overthinking it too much, not necessarily any specific rhyme or reason, just filling in the space around my words. as many of these as you want. These are the ones that we're gonna stack our gold dots on top of afterwards. Once you've got those laid on, I'm actually gonna do just a few more. We can go in and add just a few smaller black dots that won't be stacked. I don't have very much paint. I work right out of my lid, so you wanna make sure you're getting plenty of paint. Twist your lid on nice and tight, shake it up, you should have a good amount of paint that kind of sticks on the inside of your lid. But you need that paint loaded up in order to get a good dot shape. Let me place it down on the lid. And let's see, maybe one more. All right. So we're gonna let those start drying and we're gonna add in a few smaller black dots and these ones will just sit as is, so we'll just grab a smaller dotting tool, load it up, and we're just gonna place a few of these ones just around the design. And again, you can walk these dots too, so there are lots of different sizes and varieties. And some of these we maybe even will come in and add a tiny little gold dot inside of. The rules to rock painting is my favorite part about it. And as you see the design, you can make it your own as well by mixing it up in a different way. this first layer dry completely. One more in here I want to do. A couple more. This looks cute. You could leave it just like this if you want to. It looks really adorable just like this. But we're going to let these black dots dry and then we're going to come back in with some more gold. Okay, so we're going to start stacking some of our dots. Before we get going on that, I'm going to do a really quick edit just because as I was looking at this from overhead, uh, this O, I'm not happy with this O, so I'm just gonna take some of our gold paint and kind of take off the bottom part of this O, so that that has a second to dry, and then we can fix that here in a little bit after we're done stacking some of our dots. So you're gonna wanna go with a size slightly smaller than what you had before when stacking your dots. And a really good tip to kind of helping with your stacking is to look at your rock very low. You wanna get down low so you can see as you're placing your tool because just because you have a big dot, dotting tool, doesn't mean the dot has to get that big. As you place your dotting tool down, it will kind of slowly expand the dot so you can lift it right when you get an edge of black paint. You basically want it to fill most of the dot below it. So again, we're gonna start right in the center, press down until we see a ring of black, and then lift up. Just like that. And we're gonna go around our rock and do that on all of our black dots that we have laid down. And I'll let you watch this, but I will speed it up just a little bit. And you can get multiple dots like you did before off of each little bit of paint, and that will help you get some of these smaller dots as well. Just because you have a big dying tool, again, as long as you're down low and you can kind of see from the side angle, you can drop a smaller dot into these um, shapes. So I'm gonna do most of the large ones with this one, and I'll switch to a smaller tool for some of these smaller circles.
Now we need to let all of these dots dry again and I'm gonna come in and make one more quick little edit here. Our little exclamation point has come off of the edge of our gold a little bit. So I'm gonna come in and just extend our backdrop just a little bit so that I can come in and re-add that exclamation point. So I'm gonna let all this dry and then we'll be back. Okay, once uh, the dots have had a chance to dry, we're gonna come back in and we're actually gonna do some black dots. I'm gonna finish touching up my lettering here. So I'm just gonna reline this. And finish it over here. There's a little lump on the rock. I just kind of lumped it a little bit there too, but it looks a little bit better. So you can stack these dots back and forth um, as many times as you would like to. I'm not gonna do that on all of them, but I'm gonna just play around um, with layering these dots a little bit higher. So we're gonna go back to black on a few of them. We're gonna load it up and we're gonna use the same technique. Now, if you want more on dot laying, I will put a card above to the post where we really talk about dot painting, um, tips on laying your dots and things like that. I'll also link to it in the description below. I'm just gonna go through on a few of these and go back to black. We'll leave some of them with just the gold. If it's the same thing, just go along. Right in the center, place it until you can see just a ring of that gold. Do a couple of the smaller ones as well back to black. Again, this dotting tool set, they go all very tiny. Um, but you can use toothpicks for smaller dots if you don't have the dotting tools. They work pretty well. One more up here on top, and we are going to call this rock finished. Isn't that fun? It looks like it's so much harder than it is, but when you have your dyeing tools or even whatever you're using around the house to dot, you can really make these really fun rocks. Perfect for New Year's, but you could take this technique and do it really for anything. You could make word rocks with these or name rocks as well. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I will link to something else fun for you to watch here next, and we will all be back soon with something else new. Bye-bye.